Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. <laughs> so we've got soup waffles on some freshly poured over coffee. Thank you. Cheers. Like I was saying, it's Vlogmas Day 10. Definitely the 10th. Let's get into the Clarence Advent calendar. I think I forgot it yesterday as well. So, let me flip this around. All right, so we definitely did eight. We need to do nine and 10. C9 rattling around in there. All right, we got a white tube. What is it? Hand and nail treatment cream. This is one of my favorites. I had a big size of it at my desk for a long time. Um, and then let's get 10. This is a little more stuff. All right, looks like a toner or something. What do we got? Oh, cleansing micellar water. Nice. I don't have like a makeup remover right now. I just use um, sort of these like makeup remover rounds. Um, just getting them damp. But this is always good to have. All right, Advent beer number 10. I did open this up. Make sure I can get it easily. We have German style Dunkel, the key to happiness from Fair State Co-op. Nice, right, so I think this is in Minnesota. We shall see. Review coming now. All right, so like I was saying, we've got Fair State Co-op, the key to happiness, a German style Dunkel. Not mad about having a Dunkel. A little cozy Saturday after Saturday. Wow, I have no idea what today is. Sunday afternoon beer. We have a little pour. And like I was saying, Fair State, I believe, is in Minnesota. I think Minneapolis. Beer incoming. All right. So, this is the key. It's a Fair State brewing. Yeah, it's definitely in Minneapolis. Collaboration with Gold Dot. I don't know if that's a different brewery. I've never heard of them. Um, and it says the key to happiness, the best way to measure happiness, a crisp, malty German style dunkel. Very nice. Um, 5.2% lager beer. And I know Fair State is very, it's like, it says Fair State Brewing Company Workers Union. So go Fair State. As I was pouring, I think I kind of smell that malty kind of richness. Gives me kind of like, I don't know what I want to say. Toasty, kind of a little bit roasty, kind of getting into that kind of spectrum of flavors. Cheers. It's got a, definitely got like kind of like a bready kind of backbone to it. Not too sweet. I will say I was expecting it to taste sweeter. But no, it's quite delicious. It's it's got like a little bit of kind of like a. It's it's, it's this, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's not sour or tart or anything like that. But it's got a little bit of like a, sort of like, maybe it's the hoppiness, kind of a little bit of a bite to it, but in a bad way. And it's like up front, which is interesting. But I think that kind of makes it like, like crisp and easy to drink as well. Beautiful color though. I don't know if you can see with yeah you can, the light kind of going through. It's like a very like brick orangey red kind of thing, and the way the light's catching is just it's quite pretty. On my favorite class, of course. But we're getting ready to go head over to Beyond the Wall, hopefully in Park Ridge, before we go up to Hanukkah dinner with Aaron Stanley. So we're gonna finish this and head over to the train station. Cheers. Here at Beer on the Mall, we got a little flight because it looked very fun. I should remember this is a Pills from Sly Fox. We've got Hot Butcher Hazy, I think Meet the Nelsons. I've got a brown ale from, what oh crap, where was it? I don't remember, it had like maple and cinnamon. It sounded really good. And then I went on a lemon and got this sour from Fair State. 
Looks delicious. That's a shrimp. A whole hot butcher and trap. Amazing. We got moved in here. Mm -hmm. 